Hello and welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer news. Let's start with Rafinha of Rich United, as this huge development claiming that Arsenal have pulled out of the race for the 50 million euro rated winger as he continues to desire a move to Barcelona. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about this very funny and shocking report claiming that Manchester United did reject Barcelona's request to add Harry Maguire in the young deal. Of course, Frankie de Jong have been in, in strongly linked to Manchester United and they are claiming that United have rejected Barca's request to add Harry Maguire to that deal. We are also going to be looking at that. So guys, as we get right into those stories in more detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca! 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 In what could be a boost for Barcelona, Arsenal have reportedly decided to withdraw their interest in Leeds United winger Rafinha. This claim comes from Spanish outlet Sport, who states that despite widespread interest from Arsenal and other clubs in the Premier League, Rafinha continues to hold out for a transfer to Barcelona this summer. We all know it is no secret that Rafinha is among the top targets for us heading into the summer market as we look to replace Usman Dembele who is exit bound. Personal terms have long been agreed upon between Rafinha and Barca thanks to the club's close ties with Deco, former Barca player. However, a move appeared to have stalled in recent times due to Barca's financial situation. On top of that, clubs in the Premier League, particularly Arsenal, stepped up their effort to sign the winger from Leeds United, leaving Barca staring at the risk of missing out on the former Rennes star. However, as per the latest update from Spanish outlet Sport, the Gunners have now decided to call off their pursuit of the 25-year-old. The primary reason for Arsenal to back out of that race, you know, continues to remain steadfast on his desire to join Barca and he's knocking away from other offers that comes for him. At the same time, Asna are also set to sign Gabriel Jesus from Manchester City, which may have played a part in the decision to pull out of the race for Rafinha. The report further adds there is complete harmony between Rafinha, Deco and Barca over the possibility of a transfer. It is claimed that Barca will launch their offer for him next week once the first economic lever is being activated. Leeds United are demanding a sum of 50 million euros for their superstar, but Barca director Matteo Alemani has, has plans to drive that price down. These claims completely contradict the report from the Athletic, which claimed that Arsenal are planning to ramp up their efforts to sign Rafinha and were planning to return with an improved offer for him after their first offer was rejected out of hand by Leeds. So it remains to be seen where Rafinha ends up as clubs continue to circle the Brazilian international. So this should come as a huge boost for Barcelona considering the fact that we have been hot in the race for Rafinha and United and uh, sorry Arsenal have been you know one of our main rivals. I think last week there was a report claiming that Arsenal are the favorites to sign Rafinha but luckily enough Rafinha prefers a Barca move. Rafinha have already agreed personal terms with Barca. Rafinha's um, agent is Deco. We quite remember Deco is a legend of FC Barcelona and Deco's influence has really helped Barca a lot when it comes to the pursuit of Rafinha and thanks to him, Rafinha have rebuffed all the other offers, hoping that Barca will make a move. Definitely, I think there is that belief that we will definitely make a move. The two huge assets that were approved to be sold, talking about the 49.9% the of the Barca licensing and merchandising and the 25% of our TV rights that we agreed to be sold, none of them have been sold yet. Barca are looking for better proposals from what we have been hearing and definitely by next week, Laporta have promised that next week, ho hopefully, Barca must have sold one of those assets to bring in the cash injection and definitely when the cash injection comes, Barca will have that upper hand to sign some of these players. Barca will have the upper hand to get into negotiations with confidence that they can get these deals done. So definitely I think Rafinha will be waiting, hoping that by next week Barca will make a find an approach for him with money in their pocket. Hopefully we, we succeed in that deal because we quite remember um, Di Maria have also been linked 
but from what we are getting, Juventus have succeeded and they are likely to get Di Maria. So definitely our top priority who have been Rafinha is close and he wants Barca move. He has rejected us now and Barca definitely have that confidence that they will sign him this summer. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, Barcelona and Manchester United are closing in on a breakthrough in talks for the transfer of Frankie de Jong. The 25-year-old has been Manchester United's top target this summer and Barcelona have been open to a sale due to their financial situation and their desire to sign Bernardo Silva, who manager Xavi Hernandez believe would be a better fit tactically into his plans. Negotiations with Manchester United have been going on for a while, but an agreement has not yet been reached. Barca have already dismissed the, uh, the opening offers, two offers for the Dutchman, but recent reports have indicated that the two teams are getting closer to finalizing a deal. Amidst this, there has been fresh development as reported in England via Sky Sport, which claim that Barcelona tried to request the inclusion of defender Harry Maguire as part of the deal for the young, but Manchester United has swiftly rejected such a proposal. This is not the first time that Maguire has been linked with Barca, who are in the market for defensive reinforcements this summer. Jules Koundé has been the top priority for Barca, but Barcelona are facing complications in the pursuit of Jules Koundé due to Chelsea's interest in the Sevilla's asking price. So it would only be natural for Barca to keep their options open and it seems like Maguire might have been one of the fallback alternatives that they are looking at. As per the report, Barcelona wanted Manchester United to include Maguire as part of their offer for the young. However, the Premier League giants have dismissed the possibility of such an operation with the transfer set to be an only cash deal. Man United are reportedly ready to offer a fixed sum of 80 million euros plus variables to lure the young from Barca. While the two clubs are close to reaching an agreement, the English heavyweights must still convince players to make that switch, which could be a big challenge. As for player exchange deal involving Harry Maguire, it is clearly off the table. It should better be off the table because going by these reports, it baffles me seeing that Barcelona have really requested Harry Maguire. And it's shocking. And where is Barca heading to? Are we trying to strengthen this team or are going while we're going in the past? Because how can you be linked with Maguire and you want him to be part of a part exchange deal for Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong that most fans have not been happy with the deal and bringing in a flop from Manchester United. I think United have done us a lot of good by rejecting that. If United can say no, we don't want <laughs> we don't want this guy to go there. How bastard? I don't know. It's it's just terrible to hear this kind of report. It's shocking. It's shocking. Among all the defenders, it's Harry Maguire that we wanted to bring and in exchange of our prize midfielder Frankie de Jong, that could have that could have been a disgrace. It's even a disgrace already. Yet in this report, and I think United have done us a lot of good by rejecting that. Because if I were United, if I were United, I would accept that, and I will. Because United have been coming with some offers, but Barca have been rejecting those offers for Frankie de Jong. Why not leaving Harry Maguire to go, knowing that he is not good enough? He is not good enough at the back. He has been criticized a lot for his performances, but you still rejected him to leave and you prefer to go for an only cash deal. That's terrible. I hope this report is not that true because if in case it is, then Barca are not serious with this rebuilding project. They are just doing it out of, I mean, it makes no sense at all. So guys, make sure you leave your comments down below. With that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, it's bye for now.